Hi, I'm Mike, and today, through the Center for Social Justice and Human Understanding at Suffolk Community College and Vote Everywhere, we're going to discuss everything there is to know about the voting process. So, if you want to know how to submit an absentee ballot, or where and when to take advantage of early voting, this video is for you. We will also go over voting deadlines and where to find information about all of the candidates on the ballot so that you can make the best decision for you. We want you to know that we're here as an available resource for you as a current or future voter. The first step is to know if you're registered to vote. You can verify on our registration page and select, am I registered? If you're not registered, you must fill out a voter registration form before the deadline on the screen. For a step-by-step -step guide on filling out a voter registration form, please visit our link listed in the video description. Great! Now that you're registered to vote, let's look at the various ways you can cast your ballot. You can cast your ballot by submitting an absentee ballot, voting early, or voting in person on election day. An absentee ballot is also known as mail-in voting or a mail ballot. This is an option for someone who is unable or unwilling to attend their official polling station. So, what if you can't go to a polling place to cast your vote? New York offers absentee ballots by mail to voters who will be unable to vote in person. Some of the qualifications for requesting an absentee ballot are, if you're absent from your county or if you're a New York City resident and are absent from the five boroughs on election day. If you're unable to appear at the polls due to a temporary or permanent illness or disability, a temporary illness includes being unable to appear due to a risk of contracting or spreading a communicable disease like COVID-19. If you're unable to appear because you are the primary caregiver of one or more individuals who are ill or physically disabled. If you are a resident or patient of a Veterans Health Administration Hospital, or if you are detained in jail awaiting grand jury action or confined in prison after a conviction for an offense other than a felony. To request an absentee ballot, just go to our Andrew Goodman Foundation website. Make sure you read all the instructions before submitting your request. Okay, now that you have your absentee ballot and have filled it out, let's review the different ways you can submit it. You can put it in the mail, but it must be postmarked no later than November 3rd. You can drop it off at an early voting poll site between October 24th and November 1st. You can drop it off at a poll site on Election Day, November 3rd by 9 p.m. Or you can drop it off at your County Board of Elections office starting September 8th until November 3rd by 9 p.m. If you're not able to go to a polling place on Election Day, you can also vote early. But remember, you must be registered to vote. Here's a list of early voting sites and the dates they will be available to you. This information is also listed on our Andrew Goodman website. Another option for you is to vote in person at your assigned polling site on Election Day, November 3rd. Once your voter registration form has been received by the Board of Elections, you'll get a notification in the mail advising you of your polling location. You can also view this information on our Andrew Goodman website under Find My Polling Place. It is important to dive into the background of every candidate and referendum on your personal ballot. Compare candidates based on their stances on issues, biography, and endorsements so that you know your choices before you vote. If you're someone who's planning to vote, and I hope you are, it is essential that you keep these important dates in mind. The general voter registration deadline is Friday, October 9th. The absentee ballot request deadline must be postmarked by Tuesday, October 27th, or can be requested in person by November 2nd. Your absentee ballot must be postmarked by Tuesday, November 3rd, or must be received at your polling location or the Board of Elections in person by Tuesday, November 3rd. The early voting period is Saturday, October 24th through Sunday, November 1st. The New York general election is Tuesday, November 3rd. Remember, it's through civic engagement such as voting and volunteering that people develop and use knowledge and skills to cultivate positive change in our society. 
These actions can help improve the conditions that influence the health and well-being for all. Join us in making a difference. Take action today and vote. Be sure to follow us on social media. We will be posting updates and reminders as we get closer to Election Day. If you do not have access to social media, please visit the contact section on our website to reach us directly.